Hey guys, welcome to Gen Z's Move of the Week. Uh, I want to focus on balance for these next few videos. So some different balance options. Balance is super important if you are sedentary to the most elite athlete, right? So we need to keep our balance to just be able to walk every day or perform really intricate movements, right? Um, so I'm gonna show you a move that I love to incorporate that really helps with the hips also. Um, this is something you can do, you know, you can incorporate it every day in your fitness routine when you're doing with, you know, your warm up or mobility stuff. This is where I would kind of add that in. Uh, you can also in, do it in between strength sets if you wanted, but I would do probably about three sets of 30 seconds on each side. So I would definitely time this. Now you can make balance a little bit more challenging once you are good at it on a flat surface. I'm on mats right now, so that's already a little unstable, which is good and it's gonna make it more challenging. It's gonna make my core work more. It's gonna be more of a full body movement. Sometimes I think balance um, is looked at as something that's really easy until you do it and you're like, hmm, that's a little more challenging. So you wanna start out on a flat surface. Mats are gonna be pretty flat for me right now, but you can also make it more challenging with the equipment you use. So once you feel like you've gotten a really good handle on that, you can go ahead and add in a nice, you'll see these maybe in PT a lot too, but this is a nice foam pad, or you can use a BOSU ball. That'll really make it challenging, okay? So the first move is just hip openers. This is a move I wanna focus on this week. So I really need to keep my posture. I'm always thinking about shoulders back, belly button tucked, arms can be out to the side, they can be on the hips, wherever you'd like. Okay, my leg's gonna be up in a 90 degree, and then I'm just gonna open up the hips, just like a page in a book, okay? I don't wanna fully twist my body. I'm just opening up, just like this. Nice and easy. And I'm gonna try and do that for 30 seconds, okay, with a timer. Once I've done that, I'll go ahead, switch, and go to the other side, okay? You might feel like it's different from side to side, that's fine. I like to find a focal point and really focus. Focus on my breath. Nice inhale and exhale. Standing leg in balance is not locked out. Okay, and I'm not squatting into my knee or putting weight into my knee. That's gonna put a lot of pressure. I just wanna go neutral, so I have a slight bend. All my weight will shift over that foot and I'm balanced over that foot now. Knee slightly bent, not locked out. Great. Like I said, once you've kind of established that and gotten really good and proficient, you can bring in something that's a little more unstable. Okay, and you're going to feel like you're going to get a lot of work in the ankle, foot, leg, hips, core, right? Because if we're kind of surfing here, we're really us utilizing our core, which is the center of gravity, to keep our balance. So give that a try. Any comments or questions, let me know. And next week you'll get a new balance movement. See you guys soon. Bye.